Right then guys, welcome to another episode of Hooked. My name's John Murray and I'm an angling addict and today I'm back down on the Aaron Calder Canal at Pollington. I'm actually joined by Big Jamie today, we've come to do a bit of piking but we've brought a little bit of silver fishing gear with us so that we can try and draw a few fish into the area and see if it'll attract a few of the bigger pike as well. I've got two dead bait rods out at the moment. Uh, one's got a roach on, the other's got a smelt on uh, that we got the two big pike on on the previous Aaron Calder video. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link to it up here. Um, go and check it out. Got a couple of nice fish out on that video. As ever guys, don't forget, if you enjoy the videos, give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already and hit that notification bell so you don't miss an episode every time you upload one. Right, without further ado, let's get some fishing done. And that's all coming right up. then guys well we've started catching a few roach um, it's taken about an hour and a half for these fish to turn up today so it was about two degrees this morning but I think now that they're here they'll continue to feed quite well I've put about five or six little oranges in and uh, sort of ten minutes ago just dropped into three orange sized balls give it a rest and I was just having a chat with Jamie this is right, I'm just going to have a look back on the whip and uh, sure enough, they turned up. <coughs> so I'm hoping now these roach are on the inside, I've laid a dead bait off to my right hand side, just in the swim basically. Um, I'm hoping this is going to attract a pike in at some point and hopefully it'll go for the uh, the dead that's just laid off to the right hand side. So as I say, it's taken a little while for these roaches to show up, but now they're here. Hopefully we can keep them and just keep a bit of activity in the swim, which in turn should provoke a bit of interest from the pike. Certainly can't feed a lot right now. Very, very cold. Well, the fish are starting to come. They're only these tiny roach that we were catching on the whip in the last bandits match. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link again to that up here. Make sure you go check it out. So just fishing the pinky, maybe big maggot. Might be too much of a mouthful for these fish at the moment. Unless we can get them feeding really confidently. I'm just putting a, a nip of pinkies in. There. Big maggot sorting out the better fish. So today is not really about catching the silvers. It's uh, it's about trying to attract some pike attention. If we can keep these silvers coming, hopefully those pike will turn up. Tiny little silver brain.
Hey up. Jet. Bit of movement on pipe bum. Thought that was gonna go then. Hey? What, what? what Pike bung was going. Started to drag under, mate. I was watching it. I was thinking, is that moving? You know, like, because with all this scum on top. And, uh, it just put it just started to move off to the left. But it's but it's not continued. Some on it I think though. rod down. I think there may be something having a look at this uh, fish on the inside here, right off the back edge of where we're building a shoal. A couple of times it's just looked like it was going to drag off. It hasn't come to anything yet, but I'm sure something's sniffing around it. Flo's picked up quite a lot at the moment. There's a lot of rubbish coming through on the surface, causing a little bit of trouble with the pike bung out to my left, which is out that little bit further. A lot of sort of weed and leaf debris washing down. Clearly open the lock gates up and let something through. Hopefully it'll slow back off soon. Fish are still biting though, so we're definitely Still building a few fish in this swim. Ah, oh, rafts of weed and lumps of wood and all sorts coming down at the moment. A little bit of breeze on as well now and it's, uh, it's quite icy. So the early morning start not paying dividends for the pike or the uh, silver fishing but I guess it is winter. This feels like a slightly better fish. Nice little roach. That's gone. We've got to run on. Just give it a second. It's not quite taking it. That's it. Yeah, fish on. Whoa, that's a big pike. That's a biggie. Can you get the net, Jay? Looked a beast. It looked a big fish when it when it swelled on top. Don't feel don't feel that big. That's my pole, mate. <laughs> 
staying low. Jamie's having a calamity with all my gear. <laughs> well, I had to just go down quickly, mate. It was a decent fish. Just sink it, pal, because uh, they don't like them when they see them. Yeah, it looks a decent fish. Tip tail looks a good size on it. Probably a mid double. Oh, yeah. Beautiful fish. These are not like the net. Oh, she. She's in, though. Nice one, Gilly. <laughs> Jamie right. doing the honours. Just pop it there a second. That's a 15. That looks a mid double. Proper fish. <laughs> she don't fail to deliver. Thank you. I think this might be my best one yet. I hate it when they flip around. Hmm? I've got them. I'm just trying to get sorted here so that I don't end up stabbed with trebles. Nicely hooked. Just in the uh, yeah, they're never happy. But she's not going anywhere. Easily out. Just get the line free. You can just uh, move that lot for me, Jeremy. There we go. Right. Wow. What an absolute beast of a fish. We'll pop it on the scales now. But that's got to be... Well, it's a good mid-double, wouldn't you say, Jay? So, scales are zeroed. It's just had a poo. <laughs> there you go, that's half a pound down. Oh, it smells as well. Trying to do this one handed. I'm not sure what it's been eating, but that's come out of its back end. <laughs> it won't be boilers and pellets. No. Up we go. What we're giving her? Is it zero? Yeah. Thirteen nine. That fish has gone seventeen pound. Exactly seventeen pound. That is a proper animal. Side sideways. Yeah. So, quick snap and we'll get her back. Look at this, John. <laughs> there you go, fella. There we go. Absolute cracker. 17 pound pike. I knew this place had the potential to produce some big fish. And that's an absolute gem. Let's get her back. Off she goes. Right, let's have a see what we've got after a day on the whip.
Still chance of a pipe, Jamie lad. Still chance, there will be now. You enjoyed whip fishing, first been time ever. It's been a different day's fishing. Yep. Don't tell Mrs. L, but I might buy myself one. <laughs> <laughs> be rude not to. <laughs> About three pound webbers. That's a nice little net, mate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're perching the uh, skimmers and roach. Well done, lovely little net. You've had some better ones than me there. Let's get them back. Right guys, we're getting down to the end of the day now. Uh, me and Jamie have had a couple of nice little nets of silvers, probably three or four pound a piece there, so it's kept us entertained. Uh, we've had that cracking 17 pound pike out and we're just crossing our fingers that we're going to get one more. I'm hoping Jamie gets it to be quite honest. And if I get double doubles, well, that'd just be fantastic. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video guys. You know the drill by now. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss an episode every time I upload one. Thanks for watching, and until the next one, tight lines.